Anne-Sophie Pereira de Sá, Strategic Data Analyst at LinkedIn by Day and curious about data. My name is Anne-Sophie Pereira de Sá and I'm here to share six lessons of data journalism applied to a personal data project. In 2021, I published a piece called Six Reasons to Rewatch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And among more than 300 entries, it got into the top 10 qualifiers of Tableau's annual competition, IonVid. My goal for today is to walk you through the principles that influence the way I approach and executed these vids. I'm not a data journalist. Um, I just completed this online, free, and self-paced course, still available on the Knight Center for Journalism. And here are the principles I'm going to walk you through. Number one, make sure you are very deliberate about who are your main audiences and maybe secondary audiences. First sight, the main audience is general public, people who are into TV shows and maybe looking for TV show recommendations. With that in mind, I made sure of two things. First of, the charts were clearly signposted in case uh, people were not specifically into data viz. Secondly, uh, having a mobile compatible version of the viz because I don't want to count on the likelihood that my readers might save this link to watch later on desktop. Secondly, because of the self-imposed deadline of the competition, I make sure I took into account the rating system of the IONV's competition based on design, storytelling, and analysis. But more importantly, my main audience are the Buffy fans. Now, Buffy fans don't need me to be convinced of rewatching the show. However, what they are lacking often is um, a data-informed narrative to share around them to spread the love of the show. If you need convincing that this piece is for them, look at the last chart of the analysis. It's a art diagram representing the payoffs and foreshadows, um, and it's full of spoilers. So I think like, only if you're a fan could you like probably want to explore this chart before watching the show. Moving on to my second point, have a point, not data points. There are data points that are very easy to get uh, when you're working on TV series, some that are a bit harder, some that I actually discarded, and some that I had to rework heavily. And the reason why is because uh, I knew exactly what I wanted to say with the show. And I didn't need all the data points, and I needed some others which were harder to find. And the point was that the TV show is so well written, it is for everyone, no matter uh, your age or gender. That leads me to my third point. It's not about you, it's about me. Any Buffy fans will tell you that the most common reaction they get is that people feel they're not the right demographic. So I included the IMDb ratings by demographics. But there's two issues with this data. Um, under age 18, there's very few reviews, and uh, there's no representation on the non-binary gender. So I try to you know, add those uh, interactions uh, to add the possibility to look at your gender or age, but also uh, acknowledge that not all the data was there. Number four, provide context. It's all very nice to say that Buffy is a good TV show, but there's so much good TV out there. I think it's more interesting if you provide some comparison points. And what better comparison point than Game of Thrones? Because if you remember, Game of Thrones started really, really well. And by the end, fans got so angry about the quality of the last episode. So I thought I would compare com to uh, the consistency of Buffy ratings. Number five, know when to publish and when not to publish. Um, when I started thinking about this bit, there were more and more accusations against the main showrunner of the show of you know, uh, bullying and creating, um, you know, harassing at, in the workplace. So I had to pause and I had to think, do I really want to celebrate this show? And I decided after a couple of months that maybe you could uh, celebrate Buffy if you've done it correctly. And the first thing is, there's no mention of the director in the vid. And the second thing is that the allegations are addressed in the footer of the vid. There is a problem, you need to acknowledge it. And that leads me to my last point. Not only you need to acknowledge it, but you also need to help your reader in case like they are currently or they've been in the past victim of bullying. I have included a link uh, that could help them find bullying helplines in their own country. And that concludes my presentation. So in summary, I believe that even if you're not interested in a career in data journalism, learning its core principles can help you create better visualizations and stories. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, the first one, I always want first great storytelling is always is always quite interesting, but the first one is some it's more about a personal projects. How do you find time and motivation to do personal projects? Um, I think I come from a massive place of privilege because I don't have anyone to care like you know if for instance you are uh, a parent of a, of small children or if you are taking care of 
I don't know, elderly um, family members or something like that. I, I, and you have time for a full-time job plus um, personal projects. Come and talk to me because you already have my full admiration. Um, I think um, what Amanda said this morning resonated when she said, like, my, per my hobbies look like work. Uh, it's probably a bit sad, but I do think about that uh, quite a bit outside of working hours, probably too much when I watch TV series. That's it. Who, who isn't? I'm part of the Game of Thrones fans who were so... I'm so sorry for you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, one question here. question is about how do you find data for under 18 if that seems to be a, a large part of the population that watched Buffy? I didn't. I just, I, I just didn't find. I, I think like uh, IMDB lets you, do, lets you fill the survey or maybe used to let you fill the survey. I don't know why the samples are so small. Um, and I wanted to keep exactly the same source across all the ratings, so I didn't. You know, I could have maybe looked into other sources, but I thought, no, I, I want consistency. So I'm just going to be like, well, sorry, youngsters. Yeah. IMDb hates you, not my fault. Uh, we have time for one more question. I think we are, we are in the middle of, of break, so we are all, <laughs> no one has to. So thank you very much. Thank you.